timeless concepts from physics helpline this is a video tutorial series through which we will sharpen our problem solving skill first we will analyze the problem on hand to find the related concepts then using these we will develop a method which will produce the solution this will help the students aspiring to get into iit to understand the much needed advanced theories and applications in physics in this video tutorial we will discuss the theory of lcr series circuit a resistance r an inductance l and a capacitance c are connected in series to an ac source as shown in the figure the instantaneous voltage of the source is given by e is equal to e0 sin omega t it may be noted that in a series circuit the same current flows through all the circuit elements let the instantaneous current flowing through the circuit be i is equal to i0 sin omega t plus phi where phi is the phase angle by which current leads voltage let at any instant current in the circuit is equal to i rate of change of current is equal to di by dt and charge on the capacitor is equal to q therefore voltages across the inductor the resistor and the capacitor r l di by dt r i and q by c respectively therefore applying kirchhoff's loop rule we get l di by dt plus r i plus q by c is equal to e0 sin omega t now we can solve the problem either by phasor method or by analytical method first we will discuss the phasor method let us recall that in case of a resistor voltage is in phase with current in case of an inductor voltage leads current by a phase difference of pi by 2 radians and in case of a capacitor voltage lags behind current by a phase difference of pi by 2 radians it is indicated in the phasor diagrams the peak voltages across the resistor the inductor and the capacitor respectively are given by vr is equal to i0 into r vl is equal to i0 into xl and vc is equal to i0 into xc where xl is equal to omega l and xc is equal to 1 by omega c the phasors of current i0 voltage across the resistor vr voltage across the inductor vl and voltage across the capacitor vc are shown in the first figure it may be noted that i0 makes angle omega t plus phi with the reference axis vr is in phase with i0 vl is pi by 2 ahead of i0 and vc is pi by 2 behind i0 such that vl and vc act along the same straight line in the opposite directions the resultant voltage which is equal to the source voltage may be evaluated using the vector method here we have assumed that vc is greater than vl therefore the resultant of vl and vc is equal to vc minus vl in the direction of vc therefore we have e0 square is equal to vr square plus vc minus vl whole square which is equal to i0 square r square plus i0 into xc minus i0 into xl whole square or e0 square is equal to i0 square z square therefore e0 is equal to i0 into z where z is the impedance of the circuit given by z is equal to root over r square plus xc minus xl whole square it is clear from the figure that tan phi is equal to xc minus xl divided by r therefore we have phi is equal to tan inverse xc minus xl by r and i0 is equal to e0 by z which completely defines the current when xc is greater than xl we have tan phi and phi are both positive this means that 
current least voltage therefore the circuit exhibits capacitive behavior when xc is less than xl tan phi and phi are both negative therefore current lags behind voltage and the circuit exhibits inductive behavior now we will discuss the analytical method we start with the equation l di by dt plus ri plus q by c is equal to e0 sin omega t putting i is equal to dq by dt and di by dt is equal to d square q by dt square we get l d square q by dt square plus r dq by dt plus q by c is equal to e0 sin omega t this is similar to the equation of a force oscillator let the solution be q is equal to q0 sin omega t plus theta therefore dq by dt is equal to q0 omega cos omega t plus theta and d square q by dt square is equal to minus q0 omega square sin omega t plus theta putting these values and simplifying we get q0 omega into xc minus xl sin omega t plus theta plus r cos omega t plus theta is equal to e0 sin omega t multiplying and dividing the lhs by z we get q0 omega z into r by z cos omega t plus theta plus xc minus xl by z sin omega t plus theta is equal to e0 sin omega t we put r by z is equal to cos phi and xc minus xl by z is equal to sin phi dividing we get tan phi is equal to xc minus xl divided by r and squaring adding and simplifying we get z is equal to root over r square plus xc minus xl whole square and the equation becomes q0 omega z into cos omega t plus theta cos phi plus sin omega t plus theta sin phi is equal to e0 sin omega t or q0 omega z cos omega t plus theta minus phi is equal to e0 sin omega t equating the amplitude part we get q0 omega z is equal to e0 where q0 omega is equal to i0 which gives i0 is equal to e0 by z and equating the oscillating part we get cos omega t plus theta minus phi is equal to sin omega t here we use the identity cos theta is equal to sin theta plus pi by 2 which gives sin omega t plus theta minus phi plus pi by 2 is equal to sin omega t this implies theta is equal to phi minus pi by 2 now q is equal to q0 sin omega t plus theta which implies i is equal to dq by dt which is equal to q0 omega cos omega t plus theta which is equal to i0 cos omega t plus theta which is equal to i0 cos omega t plus phi minus pi by 2 now we use the identity cos minus theta is equal to cos theta which implies i is equal to i0 cos phi by 2 minus omega t plus phi which is equal to i0 sin omega t plus phi therefore we have e is equal to e0 sin omega t i is equal to i0 sin omega t plus phi and phi is equal to tan inverse xc minus xl divided by r which completely defines the current